pull some cards. What about expanding the court? Now, they've just overturned Road versus Wade. They have plans on going and overturning gay rights, gay marriage. They're planning on overturning uh, the ability to get contraception. Um, yeah. So what about expanding the court to limit these uh, Uber right? faux Christian Taliban thing that they want to put in place. Basically, that's what they're trying to do, okay? Put in this, uh, you know, anti-Christian Christian Christianity in, in place. And that's all I could call it, the evil angel brigade of Christianity which is 180 degrees away from genuinely what Christ was speaking of, okay? The anti-Christian Christians. So let's see, what about expanding the uh, court? Well, first thing we have out in the past, we have the government, the higher up, you know, the hierophant, the one that really was... Um, you know, higher and, and looking towards God, okay? That's what we had in the past. We had this, this was a place you could go to for solace, for comfort, for wisdom, okay? To gain knowledge. But what we have now, and the thing is, <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Okay, trying to get away with all of this, making a spin, really tearing down, tearing down what, what's there, overturning Christianity, making this in the, the uh, evil angel brigade, evangelical Christianity, which is overtaken and put in the Antichrist anti-Christian under the name of Christianity because what are they teaching prosperity teachings okay they're teaching so many things that are really 180 degrees away from what Christ was speaking so above it we have justice okay so again they are taking and trying to take away from what we had in the past to get away with overturning it into something other than what it is. And they're doing this as quickly as possible. Okay. So the challenge is in expanding the court, we have to have enough people um, getting behind us to heal this. We have the caduces. We have to want the healing. Above it, we have to fight for it. Okay? We have to put that energy out there and, and stand strong. This is something that really has to be pushed for if we want it to happen, if we want to expand that court hopes and fears, they want to hang it up, and our fear is that they'll hang it up because they see from a totally different perspective, okay? Outcome, slice and dice, the strong arm, okay, strong arm. Now, it can be used either for good or it can be many times the one that's spiteful, petty, okay? Above it, we have, again, we have to want to take action. This is not sitting there thinking about it. This is actually taking action. 
the foundation, again, we have to want genuine Christianity. We have to want the higher things and be willing to stand for it. That's where we started out, the basis of it. If we want it, we have to push for it because they are doing everything they can to overturn it. We need to get back to where it was to begin with before they started railroading this, okay? Underneath of it all, we have going forward, again, moving things, wanting that compassion, okay, to stop them from what they are doing, to, to stop it. So it's saying, you know, if we want this, we have to push for it. We have to absolutely stand in our power, put the light out there on it. And um, again, we cannot back down. This is something uh, we could do. Okay, don't forget the court used to be this way. And the foundation is if we want it to go back to what it is, then we need to put all our energy forward because their hope is they can hang things up and overturn it. Our fear is that they'll hang it up and overturn it because they definitely see from an upside down view, okay? And if we want women's rights to continue because uh, then we need to fight for it because they are trying to get away with whatever they can get away with, okay? The challenge is to heal it. In order to heal it, we have to fight for it, and we have to be smart in where we put our power, okay? We have to be smart. Um, so yes, expanding the court putting our energy there because we see ahead of time what they're up to. We cannot be complacent about it. We cannot be complacent. We need to stand up and put that energy out there and expand the court if we want it to go back to what it was. If we want it to go back to being a place where they were really uh, ones contemplating God and wanting to give the best. Because what it is now, they are headed toward that anti-Christian Christianity, which I see so much of. Now, I have spoken about this before. The Antichrist is not necessarily a singular person. It is a movement. It is, that's why I call it evangelical. Not, not all evangelicals are this, but these radical ones are the evil angel brigade because they are pushing things that Christ spoke against. And they are putting ones like, who? 45 on a platform, okay? So again, you know, you can't buy or sell without the mark of the beast. What? What? Everything's got a code on it now. Everything you get now is coded, okay? They're trying to go in many things now, a uh, paperless money situation, etc. Anyway, the lot of stuff I could go on and on about this, uh, and maybe I will soon talking about uh, this antichrist you know this antichrist movement which has been happening okay and again we see it time and time again and they are really trying to sublimate genuine christians with their fake christianity which is of the dark which is uh antichrist Okay, so thanks for tuning in Love and Light and we'll see you online.